You want more Rover Carnage, more small grids destroying the wheels of their big brothers. Well, you are in the right place. Welcome back to part two of Mad Aaron's Wasteland's final server battle. So let's get this battle underway. And I have to say the last part was super exciting. If you missed it, there'll be a link here now Click it, check out part one. Do not watch these out of order or you'll be going absolute crazy trying to understand what's happening. But a quick recap, the players have taken out the road ahead defenders in their rovers and now they've turned on each other. Yeah, their primary focus is still getting priority. inside that survival bunker and dealing with the road aheads who are down there, capturing the throne room. And remember, only one faction and one solo faction can survive in that throne room at midnight tonight. So the players are have a no holes bar battle on their hands to survive. Now briefly, the players took a few moments away to do a bit of repairing and bringing some of their extra rovers. You can see RAB are back, I'm back on the tail of the battered BTR-80 that belongs to Mop. Mop have been doing a really good job of luring different factions away, but at the same time, RAB have been using a really good tactic where they distract with their larger rover and then bring in one of their smaller dune buggy rovers to cripple the wheels. But we're not seeing it here. Maybe they've run out of the smaller dune buggies or perhaps they're printing some and there's a little bit of a delay in the supply trait chain here. But Mop are doing a great job at evading that incoming fire while still giving a few blasts of the assault cannon back towards them. Not the most accurate blast. R.E.B. almost getting into a bit of a roll, but with so many wheels, with so much grip and power, they are back on the target. A little bit of a block popped off the back there, and R.E.B. are still in hot pursuit. But Nod has shown up once again, and they're watching this battle between this small truck that's come in and what remains of the TGS. TGS pulled out of the city after getting in a battle with one of the other tank-like grids, and they're trying to do some repairs out in the open. But this little rover is not having any of it and doing a cheeky drive-by on that TGS grid while it's defenseless. Very good indeed. Over here we have got Nod and Mop. Mop are once again drawing some fire from Mop. Nod's last grid was that potatoish brown grid that got shredded by RAB's little rovers. And now they are back with even more Vengeance. This one's got more of an orcish style to it. And they've pointed all of their artillery to its forward so they can maximise their amount of firepower. Remember, there is no AI in their turrets except the interior turret. So everything has to be manually controlled. And this adds a really good work of multi-crewing ships or working out how you can do best with the weapons without just the AI taking over. So we're not in hot pursuit of the mop grid. Mop are loving being chased for some reason this time, haven't they? I don't know if it's just because their main weapon's down and they think the best thing they can do is lure these guys around. What's this? What's happened here? Have they run over a small grid? It looks like a small grid just disintegrated, wheels going everywhere. A classic Lucky space engineer's inside. mentality there. The mop grid seems to be getting away, but over on the other side, RAB and Howe have engaged each other. A beautiful railgun shot ultimate damage over on RAB there. You can see that's done a lot of damage. Something exploded definitely inside the RAB rover, but still, there could be a collision. No, they've just cut it short. It is so maneuverable, this strange bike-like grid, something I've not seen before. Back over here, we have ourselves the small truck that managed to lure RAB into a bit of a hole. But oh no, I can see that little vehicle. I know what that is. That is one of RAB's deadly sort of rocket buggies. And as their big grid is thumbling around, trying to get out of that hole that they've dropped in, the small little grid is holding its own. It's so hard to hit. They're so tiny. And their missile blast just blowing a whole axle off. The truck is grounded now. The other RAB rover is going to be getting out of that hole any moment in time. And here it is. It's closing in for the kill. You can see the desperate operations of the turrets. Now, I don't even know if the cargo is still plumbed up. I can see a cargo container at the bottom right of the screen under the rover. But that little rover seems to be going for it. Missile after a missile hit. And the small rover seems to be popping the cargo. Cargo's been popped. Oh, no. That was a brutal way to go. I'm going to play a guy out and manage to get a missile shot off. Beautiful. Well done. Well done indeed. Now, back over at the base... Alice is still working hard with Shay and Howe as well, all trying to get into this facility, and they're all different stages through it. The man with the missile launcher is still out there hiding with the extremely long reload time that we've placed on the missile launcher so they don't get spammed. He's just waiting for his time to strike. Maybe a second rocket on that small rover will be successful. Oh, he missed it, he whiffed it, and now the Araby know that he's in that hole. So a few moments later and a bit more cat and mouse between Mop and RAB and the RAB rover is still pursuing Mop. What are the wheels made of? What is this grid made of that Mop have got? Because they haven't got many turrets left, but for some reason they seem to still be holding their own. 
Looks like there could be a little cheeky poke here, but there's just not quite enough going on there. A little bit of a bump, I think. Some parts did come off. Not many turrets left on that mop grid. Oh, and a collision. Ooh, feisty. Have we got a phase going on here? No, we've not got a phase. I think the blast door armor on RAB's front there took the brunt of the damage. But these two rovers now have lost a lot of turrets. There is not as much firepower coming from each of them. Both of them trying to control the Gatling guns and the remaining turrets. They're both very chunky and thick grids. Mop have breaks by the look of RAB have tried to go around to prevent another ramming. Very noble of them both. But yeah, they're not inflicting too much damage on each other. RAB have decided to drive around the other side to investigate what the other players were doing. And while doing so, they've ran over what remains of that truck grid. Oh, carnage. There's nothing left of that thing. Just smoke and fire and wheels coming up. Now, coming in from the flank, we have TNT. Now, TNT's small grids all got eliminated at the entrance to the bunker. So they have all loaded up and they are actually giving some quite deadly firepower. There's about six, seven of TNT in here. You'll see as we're peering through the cockpit and each one of them has manned one of the turrets. So there's a lot of firepower aboard it and you can see these rounds coming in, hitting RAB, hitting MOP from a distance and they're actually causing quite a bit of damage. They need to really be aware of this. But saying that, this shark, the shark grid that they've got here is really the land shark, I should say is not too well protected it's actually a mobile base so if these car containers pop you risk crashing the server and in fact a server crash will happen at some time in this video because one of them car containers is popped and a big thanks to the staff team for solving that issue bringing a mobile base to a fight like this in space engineers can can be quite nerve-wracking for the team mop is still holding their own but notice here it looks like the land shark has landed some hits on the wheels and the wheels seem to be damaged, but they're damaged while they're turning. So Mop are really fighting to turn the rover back in the right direction. Will they attempt to ram? That is the question. A side volley is going off from the land shark there. Rockets coming. Oh no, it's another one of these mini RAB rovers. Oh, everything's gone wrong for them. The cranes come off. Oh, it looks like the, the oh, cranes fell off and landed. Onto one of the and <laughs> What's it done? It's landed itself. To, landing geared itself to the wheelbase behind. I hope that is locked onto that central blast door block and it's not going to jam them rear wheels up. But you can see how quickly them wheels fall off when them small rockets hit. Oh, it's coming back on the other side. Mop and RAB both causing some serious trauma to the land shark here. I'm amazed that they're still moving forward. Rockets have been exhausted. Yeah, wheels are being tapped. Guns, now what they need to do is just drop the, the hull down if they can and crush that thing underneath it. And it looks like noobs disembark with a missile launcher and it's been crushed underneath. Oh, God, R.A.B., them, them little rovers are so deadly. There we go, noobs gunning them down. And the pilot of that mini rover. But they'll be back. We know R.A.B., they'll be back printing off another one. So A&A, Alice has contacted TNT by the look of it here. And they've explained where the secret entrance so they don't have to go through the main route is. The only issue is they're Mop have followed them over. Right. And they're giving them a good hammering. And the TNT have managed to mount up and get a few guys still on the turrets to defend and deter Mop. But Mop just don't want to die. They, they're almost like a, a zombie craft at the moment. There's something really resilient about the hull of that, that, that rover that they built there. So CNT have disembarked a few members and they're already starting to head inside. And they've left the others to cover their mobile base. So TNT heading in. It's getting dark outside. RAB though are back. And they're back with something much bit. Ooh! Tasty railgun hit on the wheel there of Mop. So this is one of their super sort of... Oh, it's not a mobile base. It's like a... It's like, maybe it's a mobile base. It's something really giant. We saw this in a season before by RAB, um, but it didn't get much of a chance to fight Doesn't because really it was well, actually yeah. attacked rather than doing the attacking. But we're going to see this in the attacking situation. So it's got a rear turret with a railgun and then a front turret with some sort of artillery turrets. Mm. So this is going to be quite lethal. We've got also assault cannons and some sort of Gatling guns at the side there. And this is a chunky vehicle. There is a lot of reinforced blast door and armor protection around this thing. And knowing RAB, I bet they've tucked some welds in as well. So how have come back after a bit of repairing and they're this working their way the around the flank of the RAB grid. But I don't know if that's their, going to be their intention in this case. I don't know if they're trying to drop off more members. Nowhere. We've had a few of how travel to the centre, drop off a few people and then head away with minutes. their main grid. So doing some sort of attempted sort of raids through that main entrance. Big hits going down on that how grid. Lots of fire coming out from them interior turrets though. So the interior turrets are still online. RAB up on the bridge, on the ridge there, trying to control some turrets by the look of it. Lots of interior gunfire going out towards the city. This is a hectic situation. Look at that grid, though. It's a tasty-looking grid. 
You've got to appreciate that down in the comments. It looks like a missile launcher has been shot out in the side. What's going on over here? So Nod seems to be in a brawl with the Howl Rover. The Rotorhead still have control of the main room. TNT have pushed up now through the secret tunnel with Alice, but this is in a lower part of the facility, so they've still got a lot of time and effort required to get up to the upper floors, but I'm sure they'll do it. There's a lot of them. And RAB are now under attack by Nod's rover. So this is a battle of mobility versus firepower. Yes, RAB have a lot of firepower, but Nod also have a lot more mobility to them. TNT are still pushing down the corridors. Now, the where they pushed up to here, it leads to a corridor. On one side is the main entrance that we saw before, and the rotor heads are out there, and the rotor heads are also in the throne room. So you can see the Gatling gunfire tearing down the corridor. You don't want to step... Oh, someone stepped out and got gunned down. They were trying to fix up the turrets to help them with the fire. So TNT have been gunned down horrifically in this corridor. Okay, it looks like the rotor heads are, are still holding the hangar entrance. So this secret way behind them... Has not really done them too well. So there's two rotor heads out in the hangar area here controlling the little tank. And there is also rotor heads down the other end of the corridor holding the main room itself. So TNT have got themselves stuck in a crossfire and they are trapped. Some more of the rotor head grids here holding the entrance. A really cool looking one here. That one's got deployable arms. Adobe and Comrade holding the throne room rigorously defending everything they can. They did a great work. Out on the guys. surface, there's just so much action happening here. You've got to understand as a cameraman, I'm jumping between different things and I don't want to miss anything at the same time. I want to capture the action on the surface. I want to capture the battle in the corridors. Nod are trying their best to outmaneuver the RAB grid, but the turrets are holding and the artillery turrets on the back are blasting. They're starting to move in a position with the rockets, but there is also more action unfolding in the city. We've got a Haugrid on the right coming against... I, be, I could believe this is a gifted lion tank. So there's a small tank battle going off in the city. And it looks like it could be anyone's battle at the moment. I believe gifted lion's going for the turret. And is that a turret pop or is that not a Gatling gun's going on from how on the side there? Everyone is just blasting each other. They're trying to... Oh, there you go. Turret's falling off from how. Gifted lions keep blasting. It looks like how is attempting to pull back, get some repairs and maybe activate the front or Gatling guns. Yeah, quite a tough base tank. It's nice to see turrets survive. Oh, a cheeky ram as well. Trying to take down the weapons there. Now, back in the facility, the rotor heads still have the hangar, but Gifted Lion has now pushed down into the hangar bay. And it looks like the rotor heads have woken up. Yeah, they've realized it was an enemy. Firing their Gatling guns to the side, and they've got them in a crossfire between the two grids. It looks like the rotor heads were just taking a break for a minute while they were, I don't know, counting ammunition or something. Gifted Lion caught them off guard. They might have thought it was a friendly. And it looks like a few of them have managed to break through. One of the Howl members has actually pushed through into the throne, throne room, flanked around the rest of the TNT. But I think Legogo, that's his name, he's only got himself a grinder. The rest of TNT have got assault rifles. It's not going to end well. Oh, and he's gunned down. He's also given a free grinder. How are back out on the surface doing their mobile drop runs. Railgun shot. Oh, did that go right through the wheel? Oh, that was spectacular. The gun recalled back up. RAB, that's a fantastic grid. How that motorcycle, super unique. The rotor heads have even had a go about <laughs> breaching back into the throne room again. So from one of the hidden med bays, the rotor heads have deployed. And they're trying to push into the that throne room now, held by TNT. But TNT there. are holding it really well. And with that choke point towards the door there, it's going to require a bit more firepower. The players might even have to try and blast their way in with a rover to remove TNT. There's just so many members. And working with Alice as well. It's going to be really hard to get inside that throne room. You see the players are pushing down what looks to be Gifted Lion's tank. Up on the surface now, we have Howe's large carrier going up against RAB's large carrier. So this is a battle of the titans now. There's so much action unfolding everywhere. Yeah, there's slowdowns in Space Engineers and people complain about performance. But sometimes when you have a great group of people together on a server like this... Oh, someone's coming the throne. Someone's breached the throne room with... With an armoured vehicle. Oh, is that gift? Gifted Lions managed to get in with an armoured vehicle, but he's on, he's on his own. That's the only problem. It won't quite fit. So Gifted's running into the throne room. Perhaps trying to... Oh, they've took out the stairs as well to make it harder. TNT holding and gunned down. Oh, well done getting the rover this far into the bunker. That took a lot of firepower to blast through. So TNT are still holding the objective as well with the solo Alice. So great work so far. And they use that backup tunnel. Now back on the surface, there is even more fighting kicking out. But the timer has run out and it has struck midnight. And that means only one thing. 
TNT and Alice have won this event. This wasteland, they have survived. The nuclear apocalypse is about to start and the final players are skirmishing on the surface, unaware. <laughs> great event it was it was lovely i'm so happy that everyone attended everyone got stuck into the mad iron season as per usual lovely builds great sort of levels of play there and interaction between the players and more importantly as viewers i hope you enjoyed it as well it's really fun watching these battles and it's even harder for the team to craft them and get the players in the right place at the right time and me to catch all the moments so a massive thank you to the team and everyone that played and hopefully i'll see you next time